liquid Oscar day. And to those of you up for awards, drink. Start now, don't stop. We want more visibly intoxicated nominees. And don't smile and clap when you lose. Smash something. No one will remember who won. They'll remember you. If you do win, thank the person you're cheating on your spouse with. You know it's weighing on you. Share it with the Academy. To those of you placing large bets based on which movies you like, play cards with me, please. There's a world of hidden Oscar campaigning that determines these things. Nominees go to parties, weddings, brisses. You could, of course, listen to hundreds of online experts, some calling themselves Oscarologists. Where do they get this sacred knowledge? A place where the sun don't shine. But they have something you haven't got. A diploma. This one can be yours for 10 bucks. Everyone agrees it's a rare three-way race among 12 years a slave, gravity, and American hustle. But that the likely winner will be 12 years. That's not because voters love it. Many I know think it's torture. Well, I don't want to survive. But because Hollywood wants the world to know, it takes slavery very, very seriously. They'll give the Best Director Award to Alfonso Cuaron for Gravity, the movie they did love. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! breathe. Ah. Matthew McConaughey will win for Dallas Buyers Club because A, he lost a ton of weight, and B, he's spectacular in the HBO series True Detective, which happened to be running as votes were cast. That's a hell of a coincidence, isn't it? Kate Blanchett is a lock for Blue Jasmine. Now who's lying? Some wondered if recent accusations against her director, Woody Allen, would hurt her. No, they'll help. Everyone feels sorry for the poor, unfortunate actress caught in the middle. Jared Leto will likely win for Dallas Buyers Club because he's amazingly convincing as a transsexual and because people feel guilty for calling him Jared Leto all these years. Also, that flirting thing he does, what a cutie. Supporting actress is a toughie. Lupita Nyong'o suffered eloquently in 12 Years a Slave. Jennifer Lawrence charmed people's pants off in American Hustle. I say, flip a coin. You're on your own now, but let me remind you what the Oscars, for all their grandiosity, are not. A measure of cinematic greatness. They're a game, a sport, and if you watch in the right spirit, they're Olympian in their power to make you cheer and gasp in horror.